Shape House is what they call an urban sweat lodge. It's basically a sauna center, but it's not like the saunas that you might be used to with tons of mist or a big wooden room where you sit with a bunch of people. What they use instead is infrared technology. They're infrared blankets that they wrap you in and you lie in this bed wrapped in this blanket for 55 minutes and basically your body heats itself from the inside out, so you sweat a ton. Here to explain is Sophie Sheesh. She's the founder of Shape House. So tell me how this concept of Shape House came to be. Where did you discover sweating and its benefits? Using infrared to help your body sweat is a very efficient way to let your body do that. And sweating has a lot of benefits. And so what happens when you sweat is we allow your body to get that out. And so we're giving your body a chance to pretty much heal itself because it knows how to do that really well. It's just, we get in the way of it a lot. So what's the difference between infrared and you know a regular sauna? So in a regular sauna, first of all, you're, you're in it. So your face is in it, you're breathing the air. We don't know what's in the air. Often they use you know intense chemicals that ends up in the air and you're breathing that. Uh, and then the difference between the heat not infrared and infrared is infrared is actually quite comfortable. I mean, when you sweat here, the last 10 minutes are difficult, but for the mm -hmm. most part, it's really very comfortable. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's going to go well. Yeah? Yes, yes, you're going to love it. I mean, as we told you, the last 10 minutes are going to be a little bit, you know, hold on to the horse, but you're going to have a great session. Great. Let's wrap you in the bed. Yeah. So I just finished my first session. I'm sorry that I have to subject you all to my sweaty face, but it was really interesting. It definitely wasn't what I expected, and I think that's because I've never really experienced a feeling like that before. Um, those last 10 minutes definitely were as rough as everyone said. Um, I, my heart started to race a lot, and I just started to feel like super uncomfortable. But I pushed through, and now I'm feeling really great. I'm feeling surprisingly energized, which is interesting considering it's supposed to be the equivalent of a 10K run. But I'm about to go off to the relaxation room to cool down a little bit, and then I'll be on my way.